now. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Rain is not our friend for offensive operations. It is not our friend. So we're going to come down here on our more attritional front here. Okay. Hit them hard. We're going to swap out these two here. And hit them maybe not so hard. Well, that's fairly hard. Okay. And that may be enough to eliminate another French core. Good. Good. Oh, that worked well, though he's now fairly weak. Okay, unfortunately we didn't quite eliminate the core. Mm. We'll see about what we can do about getting rid of him still. Okay, now we can't operate in the rain, which makes sense. So my planned use of artillery isn't going to happen this turn there. I think, because we're going to use, we're probably just... Keep the right strong. Very good. And shattered. Very good. Okay, they can't quite push into it, but they can. No, I didn't think we were going to. Now, down here, don't think we're going to go after our British. Um, maybe. No, we only have... We'll see about that. Two versus four. Okay. Only minor ouchies and shattered another core. So that is three French cores. How quickly can they build cores? Okay, you're going to attack. I know it's going to probably hurt. Well, hurt us a lot more. A lot more than it hurt you. Um. No, nope, we're not going to keep hurting ourselves. So you are going to get maxed. Operated. Now, you come down to here. You swap out with these guys, and now you kill it. There we go. That's what one, two, three, four is it four or five? I forget. Uh, you come in to hold there. You move up to here. Okay, so we have been pushing there. Okay. Really, would it rain all over Europe this much? Okay, I don't know. I do, and it's just my sort of opinion, that rain seems to be everywhere too much with this. Um, now, what we're going to do is really start trying to push around. Our opponents here. Take this opportunity. Uh, 
can't quite get to there, but we can get to there. These guys we will... Yeah, well, I think we have the points. Maybe not enough to get the artillery that I want. And reinforce everything. Can you keep by invest? Can you, yeah, that's what I'm wondering if you can give them, um, like, Triol. I know Austria probably wouldn't give them at Istria down here, but um, they might have given up Triol to keep Italy out of the war. Now, we've had the pushback here at Bialystok. Hmm. Can we take this back? That's a core, so... Good. Not so great. little better very good okay hmm well they can move up to there and they're entrenched I believe to the right yes correct direction so they're entrenched now okay so we're still holding that railway which was the critical thing but I wanted to keep holding the, the city there Not sure what I want to do up there. Okay, we can hammer, hammer. Ah. Okay. I think I'm just going to take this time and reinforce some of these guys. Man, we're using up a lot of. to keep them from being flanked too many flanks and they can even let's rotate this around so if they come from our rear over here we are okay, so we've cut off the southern railway we've cut off the northern railway there's only the brest line into Poland and that is an important thing I think No, tax don't look good there. Hmm. Not enough attacking. Okay, I want to build some artillery for Austria. So while we can still afford it, before I'm going mad with reinforcements, we will do that. Now that will bring us down to 99 reinforcements, but I want to keep a lot of... Hey, Ben Bishop, if I didn't say hello, I see you're here. And hello, Lum! Good to have you here. So... Because we're running low, let's just increase that a little bit. Get these cores up to 
shape for future offenses. Now back to this. Down to one. Okay, very good. trench too that would also be uh, let's rotate that yeah I think that's the best because we know those are the two most likely tack points tack vectors okay so now, they sort of escaped. I think they went down to... we'll use... Please go. Oh, there they are. Okay, now they're down to one strength. So, let's get these guys out. Let's move in the heavy cruisers. See if they can bombard them in their port without too much... Oh, there we go. As long as we don't have huge losses, I'm good with that. Okay, looks like we've completely stopped the Russian Navy. I'll be surprised if they were really to put more forces operating. Is there, um, Bill, is there a limit to the number of mines that um, a nation can lay? Mainly in artillery weapon as part from a few admittedly important occasions. It was fired by artillery. Yes, it was very much was an artillery weapon. Let's see if we can get through this line of big Enemy contact, damn. Okay, um, well, you back off to here, I guess. Let's put you down here. There's a limit to the number of mines as every major can lay one plus two for every level of naval warfare. Okay. Okay, that's that's very good to know. So we've laid two and um, research. Germany, um, naval warfare, is it? Okay, naval warfare. So we're at level one, so that would be a total of three. Okay, so we can do, oh, let's also look at, no, wrong research, come close. Research. Austria-Hungary. Naval warfare is zero, so they can lay one. Okay. Hmm. So we need to see about laying some minefields as Germany, or I mean as Austria-Hungary. Let's move this battleship up here. We'll move these guys to port down here. we go we'll get ready maybe lay some mines soon somewhere down here to sort of close off oh and just also do um do mines affect friendly movement through it can i move through my own minefield or does that go boom when i do so just out of curiosity that does affect because I, I specifically sort of put these guys forward out here as to uh, where likely um, choose improve the effectiveness of the units and they're going to also while providing supply to friendly units yeah well um, depends on how you're laying the minefield how well it's mapped 
Um, I don't know how many. It's a friendly minefield damaging your own ships, but there is a small chance as it did happen. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Okay, good to know. Just, you know, where do I try to seal up down here and do I feel, you know, um, how much I need to take care of moving around it? Because um, we want the Adriatic as much as possible to be a, an Austro-Hungarian lake. Uh, okay. Okay, we need to reinforce, reinforce here. Uh, might as well. Well, let's make sure. Our, our main thrust is here, so I want to weak units that, well, an 8 isn't really what I'm, but, uh, well, yeah, let's get that one. Okay, yes, these are going to eat up lots of MPP, but we want to be able to push here as we've been drawing off a lot of their forces and so again my analysis just playing this game is if we keep the right that you gotta this is the German right strong while attriting down here not necessarily pushing into places but taking out cores it means they can't keep throwing cores to stop our movement when we do need to take cores out here as well as just push them back so that is good. We are in October and it is a rainy October. Sub so is a silent mode, safely sail through them though. Okay, silent, yeah, yeah, as in avoid contact mode. Um, I'm thinking about reinforcing them before sending them back out. Uh, don't know really what to do with my fleet now. I know that we can do shore bombardments. Um, but I want to save that for getting ready for an attack like on Memel. So we're keeping those guys handy. And we're using up our MPP. Damn, not just can't take that one. That would be really nice. Okay, so we got our propaganda victory. We're pushing deep into Serbia. We've got that. We've let's zoom out just a little more. Got our navy moving around a bit. They might survive that engagement. Um, ouch! Ouch! Oh, ouch! But, well, let's turn a, a negative into a positive here. We found a destroyer. Let's learn them not to... to come that close to our... beloved homeland here. Um, wait, now, now I'm seeing what I wouldn't want to do with having more navy. Here in the west. Okay, um, battleship up. Well, only one, hopefully no damage back. Get back to port. Oh, that's actually better for us. Okay. Uh, little damage back. is risky, but let's do it. Well, in 
come back to there. So there we go. Now we may lose some ships over that. I hope not. Okay. Um, and we don't have... MPP to rail move those, so we'll just start on getting them to the east. I'm also playing another just to let you know. Hey, also, you, you can follow the channel here if you're new here. Um, hit that follow button. You can follow me on Twitch. That's gamer underscore 1745. And on that page, or you can just, um, there's a link to it. Or you can just search on YouTube for Gamer underscore 1745. I'm also playing another series of this game in which the Eastern Front comes first. And we are only secondarily and only attritionally. We have not invaded Belgium, though Britain did enter the war. Um, doing an attrition front on the west and pushing hard into the east. And that's another... Um, variant on what we are doing here okay um, let's move the Turks a little further south I think yes come down to Damascus you come to Tripoli here and one of two Tripolis the other one is over here sort of like Alexandria name put the city everywhere okay um mm. Swap those two out eventually there. Okay, mostly I'm liking this. I'm a little worried about some of that. All right, okay. I think it's time to end this turn. The Adriatic Fleet. Yeah, um, mostly sitting in port right now. Is there was some other thing you're talking about. Um, yeah. Okay, this is what I started waiting for. Von Spey defeats the Royal Navy at the Battle of Corone. Well, an interesting thing is they've announced today, I believe, or late yesterday, that they found the Sharn Horse, uh, Admiral Spey's um, flagship off the Falklands. So the wreckage, of course, at the bottom of the sea, it's not quite floating anymore. But yeah, so that is the thing. That's a really sort of tremendous fear of German raiders upset trade from the British Empire. Um, that really was a story of the German Pacific Fleet and its um, dealings with the early days of World War One. British and Japanese forces capture it. Tsingao uh, in China. That was the major German concession. Von Leto Vorbeck defeats the British in German East Africa. Um, yes, okay. Not like he conquers it, I presume, but he definitely goes on that. Probably it really depends on the player who might decide, for instance, if you want to carry out landings against the Ottomans, it'll be best to have some ships present. Probably a few more will start in order if the British. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about how vulnerable the coast of the Ottoman Empire, how secure it needs to be garrisoned. Anzac set sail for Europe. UK send naval units to deal with von Spey. Hey, Fur Oakenshield, good to have you here. You're moving into my trap. Move into my trap. Yes, okay. So defensive artillery, which I'm hoping will break up the attack. Just make it a lot less lethal. And damaging to the attacker. They're moving cores right to where I want them here. 
And we're going to smash another, hopefully another three cores down here while pushing on the right. We, I'm not saying we're not going to win if we get, you know, good chances to push here a bit, but we're going to keep that right strong. Go out to Rayon, take the Hav, hopefully, and push around here to really bend the French. Stretch the French. Okay, good. Good, swap out, okay, yeah. No, pushed us back. Not what I wanted to have happen, but all right. I don't think you're going to push in between us, though. Oh, attacking my HQ. Now, that I was a little worried about, but didn't think to do it. Mm, that hurt. That's hurting. That's, oh, good. You fell back. Now, that was a good fallback. I like that. General chose right. Now, why did you go back and then come back? I don't get that one. Central Powers Raider dis disrupt UK Russian convoys. Yeah, okay, Germany. Okay, Germany, North Sea. Union of Democratic Control form calling for democratic oversight of UK foreign policy. The Battle of Coast Coast, uh, HMS Sydney sinks the Emden. I think that's out in the Indian Ocean or somewhere like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're disrupting convoy just for MPP, but still that's useful. Okay, Chief of the General Staff, our agent in Morocco, believed that the tribes of the Rift are ready to rise against the French. Very like Beaugest kind of thing, if you, you know the story in the movies and whatnot. Uh, this could be an excellent opportunity to create trouble for the French in Africa, but representatives of the tribes have stated that arms and ammunition... Money or um, yeah, I don't know how successful this was historically, or how successful it will affect things in the game. But sure, we'll try it out. Um, okay, there's a British tanker called the Gwendour. Um It was interred at Danzig. Start of the war could be converted into a seaplane carrier. It'll cost us a hundred MPP. Fifty. Uh, okay. Okay. Some more subs. Very good. And a battle cruiser. Very nice. And another German core. Hmm. I think here. Ah, two Ottoman detachments. We'll stick both of those along there, I think. All right, very good. Hello, Mike, good to have you here. Don't have a decision event regarding Greece, allowing them to land troops in the country at the start of a new front. However, if that happens, most of the Greek army will only deploy if the country is invaded by the CP. There's also a chance later on that the Greek Navy being seized by the French or defecting to Austro-Hungary. Very interesting. Yeah, I know some of the monarchies, particularly like the Romanian monarchy, was pro-German, but the populace of Romania was very pro-Entente um, during this time period. Okay. So, let's see what we can do. I'm going to save before. I, I For multiple reasons, I like saving. One of them is just because if I misclick on something and, you know, 
feel I need to go back and not just because I don't do it really so much for the better result of you know the die rolls it's more like oh shoot I didn't mean to do whatever that is and it's really stupid kind of thing um, okay well let's look at the Western Front okay now I've not really had the opportunity to use airships because when I was sort of playing this when I had the airship it was raining all the time so I don't know the best use for them either now or generally speaking I know they were mostly used as strategic bombing type uh, capabilities oh, very good hit on them especially seeing that we took no damage Right, okay. Now, um, I'll swap those out. Damn, okay. There we go, shattered. That got that unit shattered. Very good. And because of that swap, we'll be able to... Oh, no, they already attacked. Okay. But they're at least no longer on the front line. Good. Okay. French cores are dying, 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 dying. So, we want to get through Mien there, I think. Um, that's the better because we can hit it with more units. So we're going to recon bomb it as it were there. So now we've reconned it. We've seen what's around it. Hopefully our artillery will be more effective at getting them unentrenched. Um... The readiness looks like it may have went down a bit. Okay. Now, we're going to swap these out here. And they're going to hit there. A British core just went down. And we can move into this. Very good. Yes, I'm liking that. Hmm. Well, let's come over here and... Kill another French core, hopefully. I think we can use that. Let's weaken this one here. And yeah, we're gonna use this to actually kill this core. Okay. So what's that? Four or five core? I'm sorry, I lose count a little bit here. They can yeah, we'll we'll max that out. Damn. Sorry about the outside noise. To a barrel roll, hello. The pro is more um, geostrategic perspective from Media wanted Austro Hungarian lands, Bulgaria wanted lands from Greece. I mean, Serbia, legitimate kings if they did not represent the Well, actually, I would say that there is a um, 
also a very strong sense of attachment to France by the uh, Romanian people. <clears throat> they see themselves as Latins, um, Romanian. And if you start looking especially at the Romanian language, and see, I grew up in the Cold War era, and that was sort of, you know, mysterious behind the Iron Curtain. Eastern country. But if you start looking at Romanian language as simply very oddly spelled Latin and start trying to read it that way, you see how close it is to French and other Latin languages. So they see themselves as sort of a western outpost in amongst a bunch of Cyrillic um, you know letter writing um, language peoples and so they really also culturally want to see themselves as part of the West and France as more more than France I would say more so than Italy uh, because of the historical powers of, of the French Empire and whatnot um, and see that as a thing that they want to um, do and look at. Okay, so we're going to, um, yeah, we're going to see about bombing Paris. Well, that hurt us and didn't seem to do them any damage. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, so I, I'm not disagreeing with um, various Romanian desires for territorial expansion um, at all. I'm also just seeing others additionally. Okay, well, let's look back over this. I want to get Memel back. I've got two cores to try to do it, plus strategic bombing. See if you can do any good for us. I don't think that's going to get Memo back. At least not readily yet. movement to get entrenched. Damn, okay. They can't reinforce? We'll use no. Okay. Hmm. Let's swap those out. And they still can't. They can't reinforce either. Okay. Okay, horses ride down and cut them to pieces. Very good. Now. That should cut them off and make them start starving there. That sort of we've achieved that goal. We've not achieved the goal of retaking Tarnopol. But we could push here into Lublin. Start with pounding on the HQ a bit. We 
again, let's see. Okay, the... Let's entrench here in the oil field. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so now we're entrenched. Secure our flank. Do we want to push here? Not really. Up here, not so much either. War Wizard, hello, how you doing? Oh, and I hate it when they do lime green text of the name. Hello, Sinoach. Okay, so what we're gonna we're gonna take our time here to reinforce. I know I'm spending like a drunken sailor on reinforcements, but hey. I don't want to get Tarnopol. We've cut the rail line. That's doing good. Okay, now here. Yeah, there's troops down here. I'm sure of that. Um, so we're not just going to plunge super deep into here. See, they're there. Okay, let's look at supply. Current supply, so six into there. Next turn supply, down to five. Okay, so what I think we will do here is... Yeah, let's see about doing that. Okay, I was hoping to get them a little further south into there. They may end up turning on me. Okay, I probably should have just only gone, I should have gone to there maybe. Um, this is a difficult front here. Yeah, these guys will get also maxed out. Yep, yeah, keep eating up my resources. Okay, so what we're going to do also, we're going to come down, let's, no, let's scout with our submarines. Let's be sort of smart down here. And let's come down to here. We can do some convoy raiding if, if there isn't any. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to come down to here. And we're going to drop a little sea mine right there. And then we're going to fall back up to here. So... Yeah, we're also going to be a raider for this turn on that convoy line as well. This one should, yeah, it's not hiding. It should do it automatically there. So we'll, we'll try to block off enemy attacks there. And I so want to be just hammering these guys mercilessly. Um... Okay. Oh, there already no action. Okay, well. Nope, we're not advancing. That'd be a pretty good hit. Yeah, that was. Okay. We're gonna let them starve a little bit longer here. Von Mackinson. I believe he's the one that um, often dressed in sort of the, um, oh, was it 
Hessian? Um, Death Calvary uniform? The, the all black with the um, skull and crossbones on it. The sort of the history of that was... Um, was it was it Hesse, Hesse, Hesse Kessel? Um, oh boy, I forget. Um, but it starts because with Napoleon's reordering of Europe, uh, the local king, prince, whatever, loses his position. And his forces, uh, his army basically cuts their way out to the coast and gets picked up um, by the British Navy. So they become an army in exile, but in doing so, he's killed, if I uh, believe. Boy, I'm sure somebody could look this up and, and do a better thing on this, but I'm just thinking of this. Um, and so during the Napoleonic Wars, they one of the, one of the cavalry units um, dressed in black in mourning and put the skull and crossbones on their um, hussar's helmet. The ring of steel, it seems, that age relied much more on food from Galatia and Romania, simulating that it in this game is much easier. Okay. Yeah. Prussian military state. Hussar. Yeah, Hussar's uniform. God, I do wing this stuff at some time. Even went to... Yeah, that in that uniform but I think it's I I understand later it's part of the Prussian army but it wasn't it starts not uh, from Frederick the Great uh, and on down's army it was one of the other um, German principalities that where it starts at so yeah Okay, um, we're just coming out to threaten this. Make them react instead of react up here at Grodno. Okay, so I'm just now looking to see where I might want to really reinforce. Some units pushing. I know I want to build more artillery. But artillery takes time and we can reinforce today. Because we've been killing French Corps after French Corps after French Corps. And that really makes them much weaker. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have enough for that. Let's... Put them on trains. Um, um, yep, there. Put these guys on trains. I wish this was cheaper. But I, I agree with the idea that we need to limit it from being you know, too spammy of just zipping back and forth every little whim, but oh, these guys, now they've, okay maybe we should even save some for future turns let's look down here uh Yeah, let's guard the ports. I am worried about that. I like that position better. Oh, I'm I'm online. And was the Einstein of tactical warfare? Well, he was brilliant at it. I've read. Well, he he says he was brilliant at it. I've read his book, um, Infantry Attacks, and he was very good at it. Um, no doubts about that. And I don't know how good he was at strategical command. We never really saw him in strategical command, so we just don't know. I don't want to, like, go, oh, he didn't do that or wasn't good at it, because we just don't know. Okay, I'm liking what we're doing here. Um... 
Okay, you can come back to port. Let's use you, and we're going to come up to here. Hopefully, yes. Lay our third mine available and then head back to there. Okay, um, can we get you through the blockade? Let's just go north. Well, let's come all the way out to here. Uh oh. Uh oh. A dreadnought. Okay, yeah. Looks like they're coming for us. Um, oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> um, let's head out away from that then. So submarines are bumping into things. And we bumped into naval mines. Ouch. Oh, I don't know. Am I going to spend the... In, uh, well, let's spend it here, then. If we're going to spend it for a 7, let's see. That's 30 MPP. Let's see about trying... Well, nah, I'm bringing them back in. Well, we found out where one of their mines were. Probably with looking at that, we probably should separate these out a little bit more. Hmm. You may want to use them as shore bombardment here. Deal with memo and things. Greek tragedy, yes. I can see that being killed by a car accident uh, after the war. It was best, believe me, one thing in Rommel's books. I'm not suggesting that anything in either of their books, and I've read their books, is untrue. It's just, it highlights themselves. And so I, I take basically that stuff as true. Hmm, I don't know. Do we hammer on these guys? Let's see the, well, let's see the effects of being a little more passive-aggressive here. For a turn. Yeah, they can entrench. No, other way. There we go. Yeah, okay, I'm liking that now. Um well the Turks look like we could they could produce some things. Huh, I get two more detachments. And, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so they just have some detachments coming fairly fast. Yeah, we got our artillery coming, though. We'll be in January. Oh, we also had some coming in February, I guess, naturally, because I didn't build. One of those I didn't build. Okay. It's already in the queue, I guess. At least I don't think I built it. Railway guns coming in in 16. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Right, okay. I'm liking this mostly here. Now, 